No Limit Agency got its start in 2008. Uh, I had found a gap in what I believe to be a fairly large gap in the public relations space. At that point, there was no social media agencies, um, and I figured that I could bridge the two together. I came from a journalism background. So as a journalist, I hated when PR firms would call me and say, have you read my press release? So it all starts there. That if you're going to be successful in PR, it has to be more about relationship building. So the name of the company was originally No Limit Media Consulting, thinking that we would consult the media on what a story is. Today, it's No Limit Agency because we do much more than that. Uh, it's social, PR, marketing, advertising, digital, all mixed into one. So now, as an agency, um, we are able to deliver every form of communications back to the brand and in my mind, I see that all as one form. And if I had to create a term for it, it's proactive marketing. Everyone wants to put them in two separate buckets, that marketing is marketing and PR is PR, but at the end of the day, it should all move in one singular circle in order for it to create a, a return on investment for the brand. So that point of differentiation has allowed us to not look at PR as PR, but really holistically, Therefore, when brand X spends a dollar on advertising, I want that message to connect back to social, back to digital, back to PR, back to marketing, so that they can expand on that very tight dollar that they had to spend. And that's how we've been able to stand out in the marketplace. At the end of the day, I, I don't believe that brands should stand on brand. They should stand on people. That people are the ones that sell brands. Brands don't sell brands, people do. And because of that, Human interest trumps everything. That if we can put a human story in front of a brand, people are gonna resonate with it much more. And therefore I can motivate them through that content to do what I want them to do, such as buy a franchise or sign up for an app. Now I'm able to target my audience with exact advertising placements. I don't have to buy an ad in the Wall Street Journal and hope to get someone in Chicago. I buy an ad on Facebook that targets people in Chicago that are male between the ages of 30 and 40 um, that make over $500,000 a year. I can get that specific in my targeting and then link them back to content that is meaningful to them. So that's what's going to shift in the communications world. PR is going to slowly drift away, social is going to drift away, and there's going to be this new form. If it's called proactive marketing and I can trademark it, fantastic, I just made my billion dollars, but most likely there'll be some catchy term that comes up to define this new category of communications.